Before arriving in the UK for the coronation, Harry wants a meeting with Charles and William. Whether the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will attend King Charles's coronation is still up in the air. Before deciding on the coronation, Prince Harry allegedly wants to speak with Prince William and King Charles. The Duke of Sussex stated in interviews before to announcing the January 10th release of his memoir that he wanted to speak with his immediate family before the momentous occasion. Furthermore, a source claims that nothing has changed since the Duke of Sussex's previous news conference. According to a source who spoke to the Mirror, Harry has been very clear about his attitude and won't go if he thinks the atmosphere will be as toxic as it was for the Queen's death and Platinum Jubilee. He has stated that he wants to make amends with his family, but nothing has changed thus far. According to the story, Harry and Meghan haven't made up their minds on attending the historic coronation of King Charles at Westminster Abbey in May. When asked about attending the coronation in an interview with ITV's Tom Bradby before the publication of his biography Spare, Harry responded, there's a lot that can happen between now and then. But the door is always open, you know. They now have the initiative. There is a lot that needs to be discussed, and I sincerely hope that they can and are willing to do so since a lot has happened in the past six years. Also earlier than that. The royal family is absolutely anticipating the couple to visit the United Kingdom in the coming weeks in order to attend the coronation. Express. Co. UK reported earlier this month that King Charles wants his second son and daughter-in-law to attend the celebration because they are on the list of guests who will be receiving invitations. The 2,000 people expected to attend the gathering at the London Abbey will only have a few weeks to respond to organisers, with an early April deadline set for responses. Meghan and Harry won't have any involvement in the coronation if they do go because they are no longer employed as full-time royals. They should also be seated in a less significant position than the Prince and Princess of Wales and other working royals in accordance with their role as junior members of the firm. The seating arrangement will be carefully scrutinised by officials in an effort to lessen the possibility that Prince William and Harry will be spotted together in public during the ceremony. This is probably being done to prevent King Charles and the Queen Consort from taking centre stage at the coronation. The level of prominence the firm will provide to the Sussexes if they attend the coronation may be predicted using examples from other official occasions. Harry and Meghan were only permitted to attend activities that were accessible to the entire family during the Queen's Platinum Jubilee festivities, the balcony was exclusively for the core members of the firm. The Sussexes were seated in the second row, behind senior members of the firm and their families, at the ceremony of Thanksgiving conducted in June of last year at St. Paul's Cathedral, along with other non-working royals. Similar seating arrangements were used for Elizabeth II's funeral service. While riding in the funeral cortege among other royals, the Duke of Sussex was not permitted to wear his uniform. Prince William and Kate cover turmoil after Spare as they share the inner strength of the Queen. Prince Harry's book Spare, which was released last month, contains charges that the Prince and Princess of Wales have declined to address. With the help of his late grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, Prince William has been hailed for his inner strength in the face of family strife. As she gets ready to become Queen, his wife Kate, Princess of Wales, has also made a big impression, drawing comparisons to Princess Diana. Last week, the couple paid a visit to Cornwall, where Councillor Pauline Giles expressed her delight at having the Duke and Duchess visit the area.